Here we go. Here we go. Boom shakalaka tura. Welcome back to the Millennial Classics, y'all. Where we do millennial reviews and classic reactions. We're in it. We're deep into it. We are now getting, you know, in every arc, especially these big ones, we get to situations where we're trying to take care of all of the fodder, take care of all of the auxiliary, like the ancillary um, fights, stuff, plans, bad guy situations, until it whittles down to the big guns, to the big three, to the fights that matter. And I feel like we're we're inching our way there a lot slower than I goddamn like. This last episode, 1055, was a much slower than I'd like. It was a whole lot more planning, a whole lot more, you know, I don't even want to say world building, but just like seeing the plans of all of these people's play out. A whole lot of fire. Um, Kanjuro's big blob, I still don't understand what it is. Is it just ink surrounded by fire? But why wouldn't the fire consume the ink? I feel like ink is a very flammable thing. But if it's moving really quickly and if it's in enough ink, maybe it can last long enough. I don't know what exactly the plan is, but at the same time, Kanjuro passed out the second that the blob was made. So how is his devil food continuing while he is still, while he's knocked out? All devil fruits, like their powers, and when the person is, you know, KO'd. So I'd like a little bit more explaining on that. Um, you know, Kinemon not being dead, I expect it. I don't like it. And I definitely don't like the fact that he's still farting around like there's no big deal when the fucking, you know, when he was just cut in half. So it's like, I don't know. I, I wasn't a fan of 1055. I wasn't a fan of 1055. I hope that we can get back to the shits, get back to the real, like the fights, like, the things that matter in this episode. I don't want to say that stuff doesn't matter. It's just the way it's playing out. There's no logic through and like, yeah. Let's get into this episode. Let's see what's popping. Oh yeah, and um, Apu and his fucking numbers. I'm not even like the reason I forgot about that is because Apu. Who, it's Apu, right? I mean, he's gonna disappear in the background in like a minute. And, and it's like, Orochu, like, is he, like, because of the nine heads, does he have nine lives? But I was pretty sure that his all nine heads were cut off. Like, are they going to explain him surviving? So this is, like, his suicide mission. Oh, yeah. I forgot it was called the suicide. So he's like, if, if I'm not going to win, everyone's dying. And like I, like I know I'm asking for a lot for the explanation as to. Here we go. Here we go. See, this is what I like. Big Mom, this is what I like. But I, like I'm saying, even though I, I'm asking for a lot of like explanation as to how the Kanjuro's powers work. But that's what One Piece is. The whole game is what kind of devil does he have? Does she have? What is her powers? What is his powers? And how does it work? When you're just having these special powers come out the wazoo, I'm like, talk to me, explain something to me, right? That running, that sound of Yamato's running, that's like ASMR for me. I love that sound. Like that dog, like that patter patter. Mm -hmm. I believe in you, Momo. The difficulty in which Momo's getting this done is like immense, and you have to think that Kaido has been controlling these clouds while fighting like the top fighters in the verse. Like for the past like hundred episodes, it's craziness. Oh, what a lousy attack! <laughs> like I know that Luffy has just like the like he basic he's the rubber boy. But the thing is, it's like, Kid and Law literally have one good move a pop. 
right? Outside of shambles for law, there's just it's literally the same thing a hundred times over for these two. <laughs> what are they gonna do about it? Let's kill them together. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Are we about to find out the truth? Is this it? Oh shit! When else are you supposed to use this? What would their... What would their awakenings look like? Yeah, love. we're about to find out. Let's see what happens. Oh, is that is that his awakening? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure we saw this when they were up on the roof. Right? Yeah. This is not his awakening. It is dope, though. Not gonna lie. What? Oh, Jesus, Lord. This motherfucker. Come on, man. Why would you interrupt that fight, bro? I'm trying to see these awakenings. Okay, so it truly is a suicide. It's like, let's let, let everything burn. What a nihilistic, pessimistic outlook on a fight. Here we go. Let's see this fucking awakening. Woo! Come on! What is it? Oh shit, okay, I see. Oh my god. Big Mom does not play games. Well, that was a useless situation, kid. Wake up, kid. <laughs> How strong. I don't know how strong these dudes are getting their ass whipped. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think they've gotten a good shot in Big Mom since they left Roof. Because they did kick Big Mom off the roof, which was dope, but since then, it's basically been Big Mom whipping some ass. K Room? Uh oh. Uh oh. Ay, ay, ay. The law is such a badass, bro. <laughs> it is a pretty badass move. It doesn't look good on the screen, but it's a badass move. Like, damage wise, it's probably like immense. Uh, here we go. Oh, that's his... Oh, I see. I see. Because that's his awakening. Oh, and now that they're out of the fucking room, everything is going to come get her. His awakening. I'm going to say I like his awakening a little bit more than I like Law's awakening. But it also depends on the surrounding. Like, if you at sea, this might not be the one. But right here, right now... What's that shit that um, Pain did in Naruto? With, with the fucking big ball. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Someone give these dudes a sense of being.
That's how long it lasts. At least for Big Mom, that's how long it lasts. Yeah. I love when Big Mom gets mad. This is what I'm talking about. This is that em this is why she's an emperor. This is Big Mom. She's Damn, bro. Damn, bro. And that's like she doesn't even care who she's getting this from. She's just taking everybody's life. All of it. Whoever's around, give me soup or all of you or or your lives are mine. Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen. Oh shit. Wait, what the fuck? Her own life? Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit I love kids attitude talk all the shit you want I love this dude's attitude he's like the meaner side of Luffy boom oh shit Bro, that's an epic. Oh my god. Come and get it. If you want it, come and get it. Yo, this lady. Holy shit. How could you not be deathly afraid of that? That's right. Come and take it, boys. <laughs> Asking you may receive. Yes, I was pretty pissed off by last week's episode. Well, the last episode I did a reaction to. I thought it was very slow, and this was the exact opposite. The Awakenings. Yeah. Uh, when Law cut ha cut in half the, the mountains, that mountain range in Punk Hazard. If that's not an Awakening, I don't know what is. I mean, he's changing the environment, the landscape of a fucking... Like island, right? And I understand the depths in which, you, like his like anesthesia, K room, like internal damage would do. Maybe to a regular person, that kind of internal damage is like catastrophic, life ending. But for the emperors, for the intensity in which the situation they're in right now, kids' awakening was much more helpful much more powerful, much more useful in the situation. Hopefully he can do it again. Hopefully Law can do it again. And hopefully it works in a different way because that technique feels very similar to that, that like cellular damage, like the hit when he does his thumb shit. Um, but what an episode. What an episode. What a fucking episode. Things are at its peak, at its peak. And it's really, so yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens next. Uh, uh, the next reaction. Um, uh, I'll catch you guys to the. Uh, oh yeah, in the comment section below. Let me know who's whose awakening did y'all think was better. Maybe I'm just seeing it, and I wanted more of a like because at the same time, also just like watching the show, kids awakening is just better to look at. It's more exciting to look at, right? But at the end of the day, are you looking for excitement or are you looking for effectiveness? And I can't tell which was more effective, but it definitely looked like kids was more effective and it looked a whole lot cooler. So I don't know. I don't know. Tell me in the comment sections which awakening you thought was better and I'll catch you next week. Deuces.